Hey YouTube fam, it's Elle Nicole coming to you this evening with a Dollar Tree video. I uh, just made a, a quick, well, I can't even say it was a quick run because I ended up perusing the aisles, taking my sweet little time, making sure that the trip was worth it. Um, so I don't drive, so I pretty much take cabs everywhere or ride the bus. Um, during the summertime I ride the bus, but when it starts getting chilly, you know, I cab it around. And um, so if I'm going to go somewhere, I got to make sure that paying for a cab is worth it. So I got to come home with something. So I went to Dollar Tree with the intentions of um, getting rid of some of my coupons that were about to expire. So items that I know they generally carry or probably would carry at Dollar Tree, I bought those uh, coupons with me and then a couple of other coupons um, for items that I was hoping they would have as well just in case. Uh, so majority of my coupons I was not able to use but of course I found a whole bunch of other crap and then um, my husband had also given me some money for my birthday so I did take some of that with me as well because you never know what you're going to find at Dollar Tree so yes I did take my birthday money to the Dollar Tree to get myself some birthday gifts and actually I came up on quite a few things that I'm pretty excited about so I'm gonna jump into it. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get everything in this video. I probably should have separated it by food items and then non grocery items, meaning I should have did two videos. But I already have everything set up, so I'm gonna dive in. I will begin with the items that I did have coupons for. Now, this past Sunday, we did receive um, a coupon and I think we got a smart source this past Sunday um, we received a coupon off of soft soap a dollar off of two and they did have these uh, soft soap refills at my Dollar Tree these are 11.25 ounce and the only one they had was the soothing aloe vera which whatever it's hand soap and it would have been great if they had a better variety at first I was just gonna get two bottles and then go to stop and shop who this week has them on sale 10 for 10 and I was just gonna go to stop and shop and get the rest of them but I figured the ones that stop and shop are 7.5 ounces and these are 11.25 um, ounces so I had to be smart and just get the damn bigger bottles and be happy with that so I'm happy I had three of those coupons I got six bottles of the soft soap so I paid 50 cent a bottle then we also got a coupon I believe in this week's uh, this last Sunday's insert as well for the hefty sandwich bag so when I'm saying this past week you know, tomorrow Sunday so I have to remember what's tomorrow's date the 29th so yes yeah, so not the insert for the 29th but the insert for the Sunday before uh, was at the 20th uh, my birthday was 25th, 23rd, 22nd, 21st, yes. So, sorry, the insert for the 21st, I believe, we also got uh, the coupons for the Hefty. And I think everybody probably, everybody who goes to Dollar Tree uses their Hefty coupons there. I see uh, Dollar Tree videos all the time where people get uh, Hefty sandwich bags. So I did actually have three of these coupons, but I didn't really want to buy sandwich bags today. I just bought the coupon so that if they didn't have any of my other coupons I'd at least walk out with something that I couponed with so I know it probably sounds crazy but um, the hefty coupon is a dollar off two I believe uh, 12 count boxes or larger and these are uh, sorry these are 13 I don't know if you can see it 13 count uh, sandwich bags and I should probably also tell you guys I'm going to be putting together um, a nice little box for my sister. She is a college student. She's in grad school. So I'm going to be putting together some things for her. So that's another reason why I grabbed the sandwich bags. Um, the coupon doesn't expire for a while, but I will be sending her box out this month. And I'll probably do a video for you guys showing you everything that I'm going to put in her box as well. Uh, so I got sandwich bags. And then I also had two internet printable coupons for Uncle Ben's save a dollar on four boxes and I knew that they carried this at Dollar Tree so I I had already made up my mind that I wasn't gonna purchase it anywhere other than Dollar Tree because I knew that at Dollar Tree they were a dollar a box so unless I would have found them somewhere else but I did it so I got eight boxes because I had two of those coupons and I think they expired tomorrow the ones that I have got eight boxes of 
the Uncle Ben's rice and the two flavors they had were the chicken flavor and then the broccoli rice a gratin and these are actually two of my favorites so that worked out great for me so these three items the hefty sandwich bags the soft soap and the uncle ben's rice those are the only things that i had coupons for so then because i'm also trying to kind of stock my pantry with side dish items and things until sales roll in and I am able to coupon for more side dish things I grabbed a couple of other uh, sides and snacks as well for the kids so I'm gonna jump into that so we got the Betty Crocker uh, gratin potatoes a dollar Dollar Tree the scallop potatoes as well I don't think I can ever go to Dollar Tree without walking out with these three snack items and I don't even eat them quickly they'll probably sit in my cabinet for a little bit but I always have to get fiddle faddle I think it's from when I was a kid my grandmother used to always have this in her house so got two boxes of the fiddle faddle and also ginger snap cookies and I actually like this brand every um, Dollar Tree I go to carries this brand of gingerbread cookies sorry ginger snaps and they're actually really good I dip them in my tea I don't know that might sound gross to some people but it's so delicious okay so then I got some of their refrigerated items American cheese shreds I have no idea how this is gonna taste but I figured I can use it in my eggs only a dollar so, tater crowns for the kids for snacking and lunch Good. Okay. Sorry. Pretty fast. Got a bag of uh, yeast dinner rolls. Uh, hmm. Sunday dinner tomorrow. I have to figure out what I'm going to prepare. If not tomorrow, at some point during the week. My son, who hates beans, decided that he now likes burritos. So I got him two of these extra large, extra, extra large uh, beef and bean burritos. Got the oats chips. Now you gotta grab these for a dollar. Um, I've run out of rice. I usually get, uh, gosh, what's it called? It's Goya brand rice. I can't specifically remember which bag. Long grain. I usually get that rice. I haven't, I need to go to Stop and Shop to pick up some. I've been wishing that it would go on sale and it hasn't. So I just grabbed a bag of rice just in case if I want to make rice this week. Well, pack of gum. My kids ask me for gum every day, so gum. I also do lollipop for the kids. So like when I pick my son up from school, I can surprise them with a lollipop. Got Halloween theme, or if they're just hanging out, um, they like to ask for treats. So this will be lollipops for the treats, and these are uh, skulls. Then you gotta get the striped shortbread cookies. My husband loves these. The kids like them. Anything with chocolate. Right? Then my son has to have a healthy snack at school each day. I don't really think these are healthy because I don't really know how real the cheese is, although it says made with real cheese. But I tend to just throw one of these in his backpack. It's better than a bag of chips or some other form of junk food. So he gets little cracker sticks and cheese. And then my daughter loves pretzels, so they've got the pretzel sticks and cheese as well. Um, right. I think that's it for the food items. So now let me jump into my other items here videos getting kind of long so I'm sorry so I've been telling my husband about how with my daughter now that my son's at school and my daughter's home and it's us um, all day with the baby that I'd like to buy things that she and I can do together that I enjoy doing as well other than just playing with her baby dolls all day so I've got her some puzzles two puzzles also grabbed um, the pairs game and I figured we can do animals she's pretty good with her animals but this is just a great reinforcement and a fun way to learn other animals that she might not know there are 24 cards in here so it's probably 12 pairs so that'll be 12 different animals I'm pretty sure there's probably something in here that we haven't gotten over but we can have fun doing this 
Also, um, Little Homeschool Mama, she's someone that I am subscribed to. She did a video not too long ago about some books that she also had picked up at Dollar Tree. So I looked specifically for those books when I went to the book section, or at least that brand of book. Um, and I did find a space one as well as an animal world one. I think she had uh, this book and it definitely inspired me to look because my kids do love uh, books about animals. I don't know. There's a little bit of glare on this. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. Then I picked up these two little books here which are super cute. There's like a wheel that the kids can spin inside the book. So as they're reading each page, they're spinning this little wheel, changing the expressions of the animal. So it'll say, like, the animal made a, or Milo made a mess. How does Milo feel? And then you have to change his expression to match how you think he feels. So it's really cute. And one other puzzle for my little princess here. She knows how to count, but can't always identify all of the numbers. So I figure this is just another fun way to uh, make sure that she knows all of her numbers, able to pick them out. And she's only three, but she can count. She can count up to 40. I think we're a little past 40 right now. Uh, so then I also got this for my kitchen, which is super cute. I'm going to hang it over my sink. It says, as for me in my, as for me in my home, we will serve the Lord. And this is... Joshua 24:15. So I'm gonna hang it over the sink. I'm gonna be doing the kitchen over. So I'm gonna hang this over the sink, over my uh, rack that has my utensils. Um. Okay. And I know I got some other things. Yes. So now, um, got a little spray bottle for the hair and little things that I mix up to spray around the house. Um, a little soap dish for the shower. You know when you have those metal racks and like that hang in the shower and you put your bar of soap on it and then it kind of rusts a little at the bottom like I don't know maybe it's just me I have no idea it I hate it so I just got the bright idea of buying this little plastic tray and putting that on the rack to keep my soap on I don't know why I never thought of it before so then I also got a new little mirror cute little leopard print this is one of my birthday presents to myself <laughs> for when I do my eyebrows and do my makeup and then I got lots of socks 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 I love socks and I also like to wear high boots so you probably can't see the prints on these socks but I got quite a few socks and they are really cute um, the fabric feels nice and soft the designs are really cute I'm pretty sure you can't make them out because they're all pretty dark but it's all right I love black black is my absolute favorite color black gray white um, and then pops of color but yeah I got quite a few packs of socks these are actually two packs so these socks are shorter they're crew socks and they come two in a pack stripes and then I got a pack of socks for my son for school and, uh, these packs are uh, knee length socks so these are pretty long okay so with all that out the way and this video almost at its max I'm gonna throw in three more items that I got uh, what are we at 13 minutes okay three more items I've been wanting to read Sonia Sotomayor any book by her I want to hear about her life I want to be inspired that's my new kick here and I also want to get back into reading a dollar okay a dollar the true Sorry, The True American Dream. Okay. Then this one is A Thread of Sky. Um, I have never heard of this book. I just read like a page inside the book. Opened to a random page. Read it. Sounded interesting. So I bought it. And then this one. Utmost Living. Again, I'm ready to feel inspired. That's my new kick. So hopefully I'll enjoy this book. I'll let you guys know how these books turn out. I have no idea how long it'll take me to read them. Because you know, got the kids got to incorporate reading time into my schedule but I hope you guys enjoyed my haul that's it um, I got 60 items and I paid $55 and 19 cents after taxes it was $54 before tax so again hope you guys enjoyed the haul thanks for watching the video 
hope you're having a great day um tomorrow sunday happy sunday guys i'll probably be posting this video tomorrow actually so happy sunday guys hope you're having a wonderful uh weekend and i hope you are gonna have a great week next week a great start to the week on sunday i will see you guys later on nicole signing out bye